Hello everyone, I'm Ritik Kauri and in this video we will see what are test plans and how to create them in X-Ray. So let's get started. Now let us see how to create a test plan in X-Ray. It is very important for any project to define and correctly follow a testing strategy. Well, test plans define a lot of things with respect to testing strategy like what has to be validated, how to do validation, will the test cases be manual or automatic, who will execute the test cases and what all resources will be involved. Now to create a text plan in X-Ray, I'll click on this create button. Select the issue type as test plan because again it is an issue type in X-Ray. We need to provide a valid summary. Now before moving forward, we need to know that we are creating a test plan for testing a specific event. It can be a sprint. So we might create a plan for a sprint or we might create a test plan for a particular version or release. So let's say if we are creating a plan for a sprint, then all the test cases that are valid for testing that particular sprint will fall under this plan. We will need to cover what all is required to be tested for that sprint, how we will be doing that testing, is there anything that should be tested for a particular environment or we should provide the specific environment details. Also, the scope of testing should be very clear in the test plan. Similarly, if we are creating a test plan for a particular version or release, then again we need to specify all these specific details. Now, we can use different fields already provided here like use more of attachments where you can provide the necessary documents that are all related to this particular test plan. In the description, we can provide different information like I am here specifying the environment details and I am also specifying the scope over here. Then other information like who is creating this test plan, whom should this test plan be assigned to or who will be the responsible person for this test plan. Then if there are any issues that should be linked to this test plan, you can provide that details over here. Also do add other information. For example, I'm creating this plan for a specific version. So therefore I'm providing the right fixed version over here. Providing the right version and associating our plans with the correct and specific sprints will help us while we'll be generating the reports and it also helps when we are doing specific searches. Provide the right priority and all the necessary details like if there should be any labels associated over here. Then if it is related to any epic, do provide it. Again, if it is linked to a sprint, provide the necessary sprint details and then hit the create button. So how things go in test plan are that we create a test plan and then we associate the test cases with those test plans. So as we already discussed that in X-ray, we have decoupled the test cases with their executions and test plans, etc. So we can create our test cases, we can reuse them again and again. So let's say I want to create three test plans and there are few common test cases which will go in all those three test plans. I can do that by just associating them in my test plan. And once I have associated or linked my test cases or placed my test cases in that test plan, then further we can do the execution on those test cases. And how the test plan will help us is that through that test plan within our testing, we would be able to see how the testing is going on, what is required further, how much is left and things like that will be really easy to track through these test plans. Therefore, it is very important for us to provide the necessary information required while creating these test plans. Okay. 
So now let's hit the create button. Let's have a look into it. So with test plans, we have this, this tests tab added. Let's click over here. It takes us to this section where we have tests as well as test execution. Here we can add the test cases. We can create new test cases. We can add the test cases, the ones which are existing. Also, we can add the test cases directly from test sets. Apart from that, we can also add test executions. Again, we can search for particular test executions which we want from this drop down list or we can have a specific search or we can write a jQL to get the required test executions, add the selected and we are done. Let's look into one of the test plan which has already been created. As I can see under the tests section, there are all the different test cases which are added to this test plan. And we can also see the overall execution status for these test cases. It says that two have passed and seven are still in to do status. So basically a test plan here presents us tests in a nice tabular way with their executions and hence it's easier for us to track the progress of these tests. For example, we can create a test plan for a particular version or release and track the progress of how the test runs are going for this particular release, which finally determines that is this release ready to be shipped or not. Like all the other X-ray provided issue types, this one also has an X-ray history associated with it. Now let us go back to the testing board, click on the menu, select test plans, and here we can see different test plans along with the test execution statuses for the same. Also, we can create a test plan directly from here. With that, let's move on to the next video. That is how to search for test cases, test sets and test plans in X-Ray.